back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Call of Warhammer. I hope you guys haven't missed it for too long. But uh, my internet has been uh, really slow, like as bad as dial-up speed recently, so I haven't been able to upload for a while. But once I get my internet speed back up, I will be able to just pump out videos that are all backlogged. So don't worry. Point of mystery. We jump back into our Chaos Dwarf campaign and try and take that castle held by the demons at current blood. Hopefully we can also beat down the Tomb Kings, but if I remember correctly, our, our main problem down there is we don't have a lot of men to recruit and replenish our numbers. So that is a major problem because the Tomb Kings can actually just replenish it really quickly, like nothing is, like I can kill an entire army and then they just raise another one like it's nothing. So what we need to do here, holy crap, that thing would murder my income. Yeah, Hell Cannon, incredible unit, but expensive. Mm. So I got like eight or nine units left. What can I do? I need to throw some more men at them. Duh. Let's get some dwarf warriors. Can't hire any more orc boys at this point. Um. Gonna say we could spam them with goblins, but that'd be a really bad idea. Let's get some hog goblin sneaky gets. Spam those out. Nice. Let's go down to Gorgoth's Tower. Let's see what we can do down here. Can we retrain anybody? Yes, we can. Awesome. Let's retrain these units over here. An armorer might be good. Yeah, that won't go astray. Because I can see Leave this land in for death, this big chunky army you. right here that could easily come after my the Sultan will my be province, but at your demise. I will be ready to meet him. Alright, so... So... Basically all I have now is just 240 gold. Building up some units to siege Karaglag. We've uh, retrained some units, retraining some units and buildings. I think, yeah, we're retraining units down at Gorgos Tower. We're going to go a little bit in the negative, minus 37 gold crowns, but that's okay because when we come back, our economy will stable out, will uh, stabilize a bit better. Once we take Karak Vlag. Ultimately, if we can take out the Tomb King's capital, the ruins of Kemri, we will be incredibly rich. We'll never have to worry about money again. Looks like the night goblins kick the crap out of the orcs and goblins. And now the orcs and goblins are back in force again. <laughs> They're just not going to be put down by the little night goblins. Like it. They're just not going to take this <laughs> sitting down. No way. Oh, there's a corn um, demon lady. Whoa, scary. Hopefully they're not trying to murder me. They're right on the edge of my borders. Luckily they can't cross the mountains to get me. Looks like the Tomb Kings are retreating and building up more forces. Damn, that's like three stacks. How am I meant to beat that crap? Uh, Harbots. Sure. 
guys have water. You hide hot water now in all the camps, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, that's a mercenary general, I believe. That might actually tip the balance in our favor down in um, Gorgos Tower. <laughs> Sorry, guys, about all my sniffling and stuff. I'm bit allergic empty. to something, I think. Feeling a bit like I've got a cold at the moment. Yeah, corn is, is neutral to us. We're okay. They're not going to come after our booty. Okay, even with hiring that new mercenary captain, we're okay. Awesome. Oh, we got Harbot, Boss, Black Mountain Boys, and Orc Archers. So sweet. These guys are really tough. That might be just enough to actually um, push back the the Tomb Kings. This is great. I'm glad we hired him. All right. Even though they got three armies there, basically, we're gonna be okay. All right. Let's uh, bring. Did I hear someone mention gold? Pain is our payment. Cannons and cavalry. for our toil. For our okay, Hello, so guys. we've got our archer unit, we've got a pretty heavy duty infantry core, we've got the artillery, we've got the cavalry, let's bring, mm, some blunderbusses, is our payment. And, a, and a sneaky get, yeah. The Right here. Nice. Oh, yep, we're gonna lose some income here. Let's retrain that hobgoblin. And let's uh do you want, move I this guy down on. towards the two I'll kings territory. Alrighty. How are things going up in the capital? need more men. You can get an orc boy, which would be good. Yeah, let's get orc boys. More hobgoblin sneaky gets. Let's get... Um, black orcs. Yep. Some gobos. Man, we're going negative. But it'll all be worth it. Because eventually we'll be able to beat them down. Let's throw down a save again because, you know, this game crashes a lot. Let's end the turn and continue on. I hope that these mercenary generals that are hired down here in Golgos Tower will be enough to push the Tomb Kings to the limit. And really break them. That'd be amazing. They seem to be very tough, which I'm very glad about. They'll definitely be worth the money that I'm paying for them. Oh, more corn forces. What are they up to? They can't cross the mountains into my territory, which is good. But why are they gathering down here? Do they want to fight me? Because if they do, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> Man, what are the dwarves up to now? I have no idea. Ooh, look at this. The Tomb Kings are bringing more forces up. They really know I'm coming for them. They do not like this. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are amazing. I've had them in my personal campaign before. They're like crossbowmen that can fight in melee just as well as at ranged. We've got a new family member, awesome. Our armor has been constructed at Gorgos Tower. We've recruited more men up in the capital and we've retrained some hobgoblins in Gorgos Tower. 
We're going negative right now. Where's garages need Um What should I do here? Should I attack the smaller army, which is their king? Leave this land and draw all of their forces out. You. Or just siege from one side. I'll come back to that, because I'm not sure. Your skull cup is already empty! Gorn shall punish your insolence! Yeah, we're gonna wait for the... Black Orcs to spawn up here, then we're gonna attack. Um, what can we do? Nothing over here? Okay. It looks like we're being forced into this. Let's and try on the march cannot be stopped. Coming through this way. And now we're going to siege. My axe speaks for me. Why can't we siege the capital? Not for all the gold in the world. Not for all the gold in the world. Are you taunting Not me? Not for all the gold in the world! Damn it. Okay, there's not much more we can do. Our merchant trade is off the chain! Oh, yeah. Ready to make a deal. Look at that. Ready to make a deal. These guys are mounting up the price at, like... We're just getting huge amounts of merchant trade. Like, that thing is saving me from an enormous debt right now. Like, it's earning me more money than anything except for the king's purse. That's amazing. But my army upkeep, upkeep is insane. Like, um... Where's garages need seven? Yeah, let's check this out. His upkeep is 315. Yours is 339. Good golly. 570. 450. Jeez. 309. Ah, oh, 99. 500 on the Hell Shaker, Earth Shaker Cannon Tam. 700 on the Death Rockets. Oh my goodness. 295 on the Blunder Bosses. And the Sneaky Gits are 150. Bad. This is nuts. That's a lot of money. Hopefully this army doesn't get destroyed. If they win, it'll be a well worth <laughs> well worth my effort, you know, because we'll have invested an enormous amount of money into this and got a huge return. All the orcs are pressing the night goblins again. I wonder if they'll take it. Oh, looks like corn's buggering off. Good, they've realized they can't come into my lands. Just taking a look. <clears throat> if I can, I would like to ally with them against the elves. Because I know the elves will be a problematic foe. And the Tomb Kings are coming after me now. They want to face me in open combat. Well, fair enough. I am at their capital. Ooh, and it looks like the battle is even. Even though they're bringing many, many men my way. Okay. Let's hope this doesn't crash and I'll see you on the battlefield. Let's settle this right now. Hey, Liam, it's got the white white password on. It's in my room. Because mum's trying to 
TV cabinet. Alright guys, here we are on the battlefield, it's all desert-like, which is appropriate for our location. Let's set up the artillery and hope for the best. Let's get them all in fire at will mode. Looks like they're in a good position. Yep, yep. Awesome. Hopefully they rack up a lot of kills. And now we're going to bring our blunderbusses up beside them. Because we need these guys here in fire support. Let's get them in guard mode. Okay. So now we're going to form up our main battle line. To meet the enemy infantry in the open. And these guys are sick. Harboss Black Mountain Boys. Can't wait. And then we're going to chuck all these archers behind them in support. Now our Cavalry General, Olob Khan, is going to sit back here and wait for an opportunity to attack. And then Harboth is going to guard our artillery piece. We shall secure the battlefield. There he is. Huge orc. Alright. Well, let's begin. And they're opening up already. Awesome. Let's quickly move our men forward. Shaker cannons already firing. Will the death rockets fire? Oh, they got catapults. All right, push forward. Archers. Fall back. Sneaky gits are going in. Blunderbusses are opening up and causing absolute devastation. I'm going to move our cavalry out to the right flank. We just decimated their cavalry charge. Oh, and we tanked another unit. Okay, we're going to have to get Harboth in with these guys to protect our blunderbusses. Boy, you archers, what the hell are you doing? Get back. Oh, no, our artillery. Our blunderbusses are going to have to hold the line on their own. Our archers are going to continue to open up on the enemy. I want them not to fire at will, I want them to target these horsemen. Okay, our blunderbusses are getting mown down in melee at the moment. Let's push them this way, get them a clear shot. Alright, cavalry pull out. Earth shaking cannon. 
pick it up. How about murder these guys? Cavalry flank around. Earth Shaker keep firing. Archers. Holy crap, archers. Pull out. We just don't have enough men to hold this, I think. They've got us strewn out everywhere. Um, cavalry take out their cannons. I mean, not their cannons, their catapults. Fire at will. Death rocket. Man. Okay. Oh, we got mummies charging. Um, archers. Form up. Oh, we got their general. Nice. Archers, form up. And open fire. Okay. How are things doing here? Man, these these archers just don't have a prayer at the moment. We're gonna have to fight in melee, I think, which they should be decent, but I don't necessarily want them to be doing that. How are our infantry doing? They're really tightly packed in there. They're not having a good day. Our uh, blunderbusters are currently being useless. <laughs> Let's uh, pull them around here. Cavalry, get down on their cavalry right now. No, no, no. Everyone, right here. I don't have enough crew to man that thing anyways. Man, this battle is crazy. Okay, this guy needs to move in and take out those guys who are flanking. You guys need to focus down these archers, these uh, skeleton warriors. These archers need to do that. Uh oh, we got a router. Oh, he's fighting to the death. How's that earth shaker doing? Oh, another one of their generals. General, nice. Hopefully that uh, breaks him. That breaks their army, I hope. Uh oh. What's going on here, man? Oh, Tomb Guy crap. Charge, boys, charge. Um, cavalry. I need you to come back this way and immediately protect this damn cannon because it just keeps getting attacked. Oh no, we're gonna lose this guy. We just. We just, oh no, we just hide him and he's fighting to the death. Everyone, push in. 
save Hobble. Go, Lepron, go. <laughs> Where are these guys? No, 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 what are you doing here? All I've done, you stupid. Oh, man. It's just too many. We need to hit this bodyguard right now. Those death rockets need to take out that bodyguard immediately. And they're still firing that damn catapult. Oh, huge tomb guard rush. Skeleton slaves, this is bad. Fight. Noble death, yeah, Harbour fell in battle. Great. Oh no, all of Khan's all on his own. He's in the midst. And he's down. Damn it. Earth Shaker, where are you, man? Fire will. Our great general, Olof Khan, has fallen. Damn. We were outmatched by the Tomb Kings today, but we defeated many of them. Our great mercenary army fell, but we fought valiantly. There was many, many guys on their side, and we killed so many. Like, literally, we lost pretty much everybody, but so did they. They lost so many men. We killed the most. Alright, so we got Harbos Black Mountain Boys with a 165, Habos Orc Archers, 213 kills, oh, man, and Ola Khan's Wolf Boys got 213 as well, 246 for more of Ola Khan's Wolf Boys, man, these guys really went all out and just slaughtered so many enemies, it was a defeat, but also a victory for us, because now we can come back with even more men, and just crush them, because they really just lost pretty much everything they had. Yeah, they're depleted really badly, you can see that. Yeah. They still have a decent amount of men. The thing I'm hoping for is that the Skaven come after them. That'll weaken them even more. No, no the Skaven want to keep banging their head against the brick wall with uh, the dwarves and the orcs because you know that's that's what you do when you're in a tight position you just keep smashing it <laughs> alright so another ruler hide another guy, yeah, all the clans dead, almost dead 
Everybody's dead. Oh, damn. These guys are not happy. They executed some of my men that they captured. 28 of them. Yeah, the Tomb Kings aren't up here still. <laughs> Alright, we got a massive income boost from losing all of those forces. Unfortunate, yes. But now it opens the gateway for us to become even stronger. <laughs> okay. So now, we can produce Chaos Dwarf Warriors, more blunderbusses, some more boys. We can get some sneaky gits. Awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go to Warriors Hall. Alright, let's go back up to the capital. Then we're about to get our Black Orcs. Is there anything else we can train in like one turn? That's funny, these Golo Archers are more than the Hobgoblin Archers and I don't understand that. The, Hobgoblin archers are, are better. Let's get two of them. That'll pad out our army a bit better so that we can go finally defeat these demons in their castle. And we're going to be okay. Awesome. Alright, so in one turn we're going to have five extra units to come at the Tomb Kings with, so we won't be defenseless if they try and mount a counter-attack. We're going to get them. It's just going to take a little time. We're just chipping away at them piece by piece. We'll eventually wear them down until they can't beat us. In fact, they nearly didn't beat us last time. Will the dwarves beat the Skaven? <laughs> I wonder. Oh, back to the Tomb Kings already. Looks like they're building more men, as they should be. <laughs> and the Skaven have run away from the Orcs. They know what time it is. And now they're sending like one commander over to the dwarves. That's really dumb. But okay, you go ahead, Skaven. Do what you feel like is a good thing. Alright. We've got a ton of money to play with still. We've got our Black Hawk infantry now. Awesome. Okay, so we're building up the forces here. Still going strong. Building the new uh, barracks for our dwarves over there. Hmm. Green train. What will that give them? I have no idea. Either way. It'll give us time to produce more units, which is always welcome. Let's get some more sneaky gits up in this place. And <laughs> da big orcs range. 
Yeah, we'll grab that because that'll give us more ranged units. Um, we'll uh, move. What do you want, Beardling? All our units across except for the Black Orcs. And My armor is solid as Go rock. and siege that place. Get ready to receive a counter attack over here. So we're going to build some hobgoblins, yeah. Because they're the best thing that we got at the moment down here. The Sultan will be most pleased at your demise, infidel. Yeah, they got a lot. Uh, that's like three full stacks. I'm in trouble if they come for me with all of it. Okay. Let's go. I think what that um, retraining thing for the Black Orcs is doing is um, armoring them up even more, giving them better armor, which would be a really really good thing for them because they're already pretty tanky and just to pad them out even more is, is is really good it'll probably be the thing that gets us the victory over those demons because we've been smashed back already a couple of times by these demons as you guys know but we've constantly been weakening them and I think now is the time that we're gonna win we just need to make that push Ooh, Sylvania's fighting for the territory of Castle Drakenoff. And they won. They won big time, and now they're going after those Empire Fools. Tomb Kings didn't do anything interesting. We probably weakened them too much for them to get a little ambitious and try and come for me now. Okay, now the Skaven are moving back again. They've decided that they can't take the Dwarven Stronghold yet again. Okay, um, yeah, we got the intern. We still got over six thousand dollars in the bank. Borlas Tower now has a Warriors Hall. Awesome. Everything's fine over here. What can we do? Yeah, let's get this in-depth development of the Hobgoblin thing. Uh, let's wait for a minute. Let's not build any guys there. Um, Where's garages need seven? Push forward let's then. Chop some legs. Maintain you the call siege. That a building? Ah, and read the chaos dwarves and the orc. Black orcs forward. It just how we like it. We'll leave the sneaky gits there. And we're doing okay. So in one turn we'll go over and we'll siege Karak Vlag and take it from those demons. Is doing like I saw them get their asses handed to them by Sylvania, but that's about it. Ooh, looks like the orcs beat the night goblins this time. Oh, that's a big orc army. Yeah, they're gonna totally trash the night goblins. Ok, 
okay, at least the Skaven is sending more than one guy over there this time. Oh, wow! Wow! The Skaven are up in the north, and they've got their eyes on Karak Blag as well. I might have to fight the Skaven for it. Wow! A thousand slaves for our toy! Oh. I am neither your concern nor your subject. Wow, they have quite the army up here. The Packmaster. Damn! I a great grandfather's blade. Okay, so we've got Nurglings, Plague Bearers, Screamers, Bloodletters, Demonites, and Horrors to come to grips with. Okay. Just point me where you want me. Let's get up in their faces and attack. Fix for me. Oh, hold on. We couldn't break in? What the hell? Looks like we're waiting one more turn. <laughs> Let's come down to Gorgos Tower and spend a little money on some troops. We're gonna need some death rockets. Chaos Warriors of Dwarf Chaos Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Um, get some Blender Buses. More Arbalists. Get some Hot Goblins up in here. And we should be okay now. I want to try and bring like a full stack. Of really well trained guys down on them. We can't recruit anything here because we used up all our money. I want to try and get a hell cannon of chaos if I can. That'll really tip the balance in my favor, I think. Okay, this time <laughs> we should be able to break into Karag Vlog. I hope. <laughs> Night goblins are retreating, and the orcs are coming for them. <laughs> the only powers of chaos that I've seen apart from my own is corn. I haven't seen Nurgle or Zinch or Slanesh yet. Oh, looks like Sterland is trying to come after Castle Drakenoff with a pitiful force. And the vampire counts have come in and slaughtered them. <laughs> They're not giving it up for no one. Ooh, looks like the Tomb Kings are making a move on me. Good thing I've uh, built up some more forces to defend myself. Oh, and look at that, the Orc army in the background. It's, um... It's gone rebel. <laughs> yeah, man, those. I am neither your concern nor your subject. Those Skaven are really pushing hard. And they really don't want me to take it. Oh, the orcs and goblins are at war with the vampire counts now? Interesting. Alright, Hell Cannon of Chaos. That should do it. Let's head back to Gorgos Tower momentarily. Yeah, what are they bringing at me? In she, infidel. A full or stack. Face the might of Islam. <laughs> the might of Islam. Okay, we're recruiting a death rocket. Getting the in uh, depth development of hobgoblins. That'll uh, give us a massive boost to our income, which I'm happy about. And let's come up back to the north of our empire and attack Karak Lark. What do you want, Beardling? Let's chop some legs! 
Alrighty. Let's do this. Yes, we have the advantage. Supposedly. <laughs> My axe speaks for me. Alright. Let's get up onto this battle map. Pour into the castle and slay them all. You guys are probably sick and tired of seeing me um, attack this this same castle over and over and over again, but you know, I kind of have to. Where is our way in? Ah, uh, over here, like before. Let's grab everyone and chuck them over here. Let's push our archers in the front. Send the gobos in. <laughs> First of all, be like, hey, we got goblins. Take them. <laughs> Cannon fodder. Then we're going to chuck your sneaky gits behind the gobos. Oops, I missed one sneaky hit. That's better. Let's get out orcs and orc boys and house dwarf warriors lined up for the next wave. And then we'll follow up with our house dwarf bodyguard and the black orcs. Those guys will crush. Yeah, these guys are uh, enormous and deadly. Okay, so I think the enemy's up on the walls. Our archers are already opening fire. They're not up on the walls, but they're holding the choke point. Let's send in the goblins. don't want to waste my arrows actually, so hold your fire. Hmm. Do they have any forces in the town center? Yes. They got the horrors and some bloodletters. The rest of their men are down here. Except for the demon nets. I don't know where they are. Hmm. Ah, over here. Oh, at the screen, it's too. <laughs> They're goofy general just riding thin air. <laughs> Come on, gobos. Climb the hill. You can do this. Get up there. Let's uh, push my archers forward so that they can get a better shot. March the sneaky gets up so that they can push in when needed. Chaos to Wars and all boys, similar thing. And finally, the rear guard of the general and the black orcs. Now, the gobos. I hope you're ready to die to these blood letters of corn. Let's soften them up in leaves. There's 126 of you and only 41 of them, but they're going to whoop your ass. Yeah, they're already slaughtering you. Well, that'll distract them for a while. <laughs> Bring
going forward, the meat of my army. The real hard hitters. Yeah, we haven't even killed one blood letter of corn. This is so funny. Alright, open fire. Stop moving, I don't give a crap. Awesome, the arrows are arcing down now. And hopefully finding their mark. We need to move the sneaky gits in because these gobos are getting absolutely slaughtered and they're not going to last much longer and I don't want it. These blood letters coming out, carving up my archers. Still no casualties on these blood letters, but we might. Um, oh, we might see uh, some wounded soon. Once those gobos break, we're going to charge in with the sneaky gits. Oh, we've killed one. Pretty sure that was archer fire that did that. Definitely not the gobos. And our men are getting cut down very quickly. Oh, they're bringing out the horrors. I think I just got a little friendly fire just then. Whoopsie. Oh, bringing down more blood letters of corn. And those gobos are finished. Sneaky gets, get in there. Archers, hold your fire. Mm. Oh, no you don't, sir. Shoot those blood letters of corn down. We don't want those towers tearing to you on. Ooh, it looks like the blood letters are going to win against the sneaky gits, but they're having a tough time. Don't let them get away. How are the blood letters doing up here? Still hanging out, getting shot at. Let's uh, switch fire to the Nerglings. I think we'll have a better chance of shooting them. Oh, and the plague bearers are coming to play. Because they can see the blood letters of corn getting slaughtered by the sneaky gits. Who are just constantly pouring through the gap. Charge! Don't let them get away! And they're fighting with all they've got. This one blood led is so screwed. <laughs> okay. You guys know what to do. Push forward through them all and carve them up. Just overwhelm them with numbers. 
They don't appear to be getting hit. <laughs> oh well. We tried. While those guys are um, currently distracted, let's come this way with our Chaos Dwarf Warriors and Lock Boys. I feel like we can turn off that tower if we uh, get up there and kill them. It's going to be okay because we're just moving through our own forces right now. They can't really stop us. Alright, get up there, boys. We're almost out of ammo with the archers, which means we're gonna have to fight them just again to the end the whole way. Ooh, killing them, killing them. Yeah, we've defeated them down here quite soundly. The only thing left to take out is these nerdlings. With the extreme numbers that I have, I feel like I've got this in the bag. Looks like the blood letters of corn are coming down to fight us. They're like, no, you cannot turn off my tower. Oh, yeah? Just try it. Try and push through that. <laughs> yeah, these blood letters are getting slaughtered. Alright, let's push our sneaky gits to charge at the Nurglings. Because that'll turn off even more towers. And there's nothing really else in the way stopping us. Those plague bearers are basically all done for. The blood letters are all dead. Now it's just my sneaky gets facing their nerdlings. These are the strangest units ever. They literally have like no weapons. They look too sadistically happy. And they're just disgusting <laughs> to look at. They just beat you up with their feet, like their hands. And, uh, hey, where are you going, boys? Kill the bloodlines. Okay, they've got one guy trying to run away, let's let him do that, and then let's get up here and take out the horrors of Zinch. Need to silence those buggers. How are things doing when my sneaky gets? Pretty good, there's only one plague bearer left who's kind of hiding, and now the rest of them are taking on the Nurglings, which is going incredibly well because, well, they're Nurglings. <laughs> Get rid of this last plague bearer and in turn end up flanking the Nurglings and taking them down even better. So we're pouring up onto the walls now, I'm going to silence this damn arrow tower and stop them from shooting me. Take out these horrors of Zinch. You're about to burn my ass. I know you are. I see it. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. Kill them all. I 
That's right, lock them in melee combat. Don't let them throw their crap at us. Excellent work. Alright, let's move the real champions of my army in. The company of the archers. Because every able-bodied man that can bear a sword will now be uh, a part of the assault on the town centre. And these nerglings are pretty much screwed. It's just a matter of time before we grind them down. We haven't even got our most heavy units engaged in combat yet, which is great. Okay, these horrors of Zinch are pretty much finished. But they're putting up a stand, they're fighting to the last. Definitely not going down without a fight. I'd expect nothing less from a demon. Good job, all boys. Good job. All right, everybody, down off the walls. We've shut down those towers. Let's get these black orcs in there just for funsies. the rest of my enemy's forces currently. The demon X haven't moved, their blood litter of corn is running for his life. There's nothing in the town center. Screamers are still there with the demon X. The enemy has nothing left. Okay. Well then, um Let's push my sneaky gits up here, followed by these guys, the archers, and my general. The black orcs will finish the nerglings and then follow suit. Oh, they got no chance. Buildings have to hit the gateway, yeah. <laughs> Ruthless. These black orcs are brutal. I'll be very surprised if a nerdling takes out a black orc. And he's done. Alright. Sorry guys, excuse me for that one. I tried to hold it in as best I could. Here's the demonettes and screamers have uh, retreated to the town center knowing that their fate is sealed. And now all of my men are moving towards the town center. The problem here is even taking out the general isn't going to do crap. And the reason for that is they're in their town center inside their castle. And B, 
the demons. They don't get afraid. They don't feel fear. And those bloodletters put up a good battle here. The plague bearers and the nerdlings. Yeah, they killed quite a few of my men. The sneaky gets. You guys performed admirably. It feels good though, because I know for certain that I'm pretty much going to take this fortress. I guarantee you. That'll give me extra income and more places to recruit from, just an increase in every way, it's good. Alrighty, so we got our archers pushing up on the front line for whatever crazy reason they decided that was a good idea, just to not let the melee forces rush in first. Is this unit doing whatever? I kind of want the black orcs to charge in first. Hold your position. everyone back here and let the black hawks go in first. So they're my heavy hitters. They're the reason I waited like the whole extra turn just to come here. Because I knew that they would be the ones to do the most damage. So I'm definitely going to use them, because they'll save me a lot of men that would have died, but won't now. Awesome, we can run them because they're fresh. And now that they've finished running to position, I'm going to use War Cry and then charge the Demonettes. Charge! They will fall very quickly. A black orc charge. Oh, maybe not. All right, everybody else, charge in real fast. Help your brave black orc friends out. I thought it was going to be cake for them. I don't like that he supported. These demon that's are a lot stronger than I've ever seen. Oh, the general is just sitting right there in the middle. Levitating. <laughs> Take him out. I can't believe these ugh. black orcs are getting ripped a new one. The whole guys. 
the biggest and best in my army. Come on, you can do it, guys. You can do it. Still got a hobgoblin sneaking it coming in. <laughs> As you can see, we got uh, orcs and hobgoblins all breaking through and attacking these demonites of Slanesh quite unsuccessfully. We need to push all our forces on the general so that they flood through the town center. Okay, this is just stupid. Everybody group up and rush the town center in great numbers. If we can get in a month, we can defeat them. Just push! I know you're losing a lot of men to this, but push, man, push! It'll be all worth it once we win. Don't let them hold you back, push through. Alrighty. Attack everyone, attack. Yeah, we got him now. How dare you kill so many of my men? You pay for that. They're slaughtering them now. Awesome. Ooh, that scream went down. That blood letter of corn is still up. It's fighting an old boy. Who will win, I wonder? Oh, now he's fighting a sneaky git. And one of the dwarves, General's bodyguards. And he's down. They can't stand against us. We got this, there's just too many of us. Black Orcs, you need to charge. Screamers of Zinch. And the general's down. <laughs> he froze in place. That's hilarious. Enemy general fallen, General Henry. Good. Now it's just mop up. Get him, boys. And we win. About damn time. That was the third or fourth assault we made on this place. Jeez. Oh. So many dead. Who killed the most? <laughs> the orc boys. How did the black orcs do? They did decent. Finally, we take current luck for our own. That damn time.
shift is over. Yeah, about damn time. Meet your ancestors! <laughs> Old honest dwarf workmanship. Awesome. Ooh. Let's occupy the settlement. Enemy army routes. Fantastic. Awesome, 623 extra. Mission success. Nice. We're being given 2,500 gold crowns from the Council of Nobles. Good job. Thanks, guys. And Overlord Baldrick is fair in rule. Let's repair the castle. Because we absolutely slaughtered it. <laughs> Let's make a merchant. Awesome, this place is great. Let's go down to Gorgos Tower, see what we can do. Alrighty. Hmm. Let's build another death rocket. Just one more. Recruit some more sneaky gits because those fellas are actually decent warriors. And that's all our money. Alright. Let's save now that we've got character luck under our control. And we look to make a profit of 16 gold crowns. Man, these Empire factions are really gunning for the Castle Drakenhof. They really want it. They're going to have to fight super hard for it, though. I don't think they're going to be able to take it, to be honest. The Night Goblins still holding their castle up in the hill, up in the mountains. The Orcs constantly sending attacks. Not this turn, however. Hmm. It's got me thinking now that we've taken Karakvlag, where do we go from there? Who do we fight now up in the north? Where can we even move to? Our northern border is secure, secured by the mountains and the river, and we know it's held by corn, not the elves, but to the west and to the south, we're not so sure. Actually, to the south it's held by the orcs, I'm pretty sure. But to the west, I think there's quite a large Skaven presence, so we might end up having to fight them. That could be a problem. <laughs> Especially for our campaign against the Tomb Kings down in Gorgos Tower. I want all these Tomb King armies just to bugger off and go off and attack the Border Princes to the west of their lands. That would really benefit me a lot. They're not going to do it though, are they? Skaven are just messing around as they always do. <laughs> oh look, they're sending a pretty decent sizable force towards the Dwarven Castle. No, we've had a crash, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sorry guys, that's going to have to be the episode. I'm truly sorry about that, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed us, uh, enjoyed watching us this this time and, and seeing how the Chaos Dwarf people can advance and overcome with just persistence, you know. The Dwarves, <laughs> always great people, they just... It doesn't matter how hard the rock is, they keep smacking it with the pick. They're going to break through that wall eventually. But anyways, my name is Edogs82. I'm signing out. See ya.